Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this outline text effect. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is that we want to make a duplicate of this text. So click on Command J or Control J if you are on the Windows. Now we are going to turn off the top layer and this layer we want to basically hide the portion of the text that falls on the subject so what we are going to do is that we want to make a copy of our subject so click on your padlock to unlock your image and we are going to go to quick selection tool and then click on select subject now photoshop basically makes a selection around your subject for you. Now, since we want to hide the portion of our font, we are going to click on our, on our type font, go to filter, and then go to select, and then choose inverse. Now, this makes a selection of all the areas outside of your subject. Now, if we add a layer max, it basically hides all the text that falls inside your subject. Now, we are going to turn back on the top um, text and we are going to change the color. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything and we're going to flip our foreground color and make that white. Now, I'm going to go ahead to select my font and we are going to go ahead to right click and we are going to convert this into a shape. Now we want to take the fill all the way to zero and you basically lose your font, but it's still there. So we want to click on our path selection tool and it activates your fill color. Now click on your stroke, change that to white and we can go ahead and increase it so it's a little bit bigger now you want to make sure you click on the stroke option and we want to make sure that our alignment is not on the outside but it's on the inside it's on the inside of our font so that way the outline basically aligns with the font we want to go ahead and make a selection of the thumbnail of our subject. So hold down command, click on the thumbnail of the font. So we're going to go ahead and reverse our selection so that we only get a selection of our subject and not outside of our subject. So click on select and choose inverse. Now we're going to go ahead and add a layer max to our font so guys this is a very simple way to add some character to your font i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next tutorial bye y'all